Okay. So incision down the knee. I mean, this is in your video that you saw already, so but just saying. Incision down the middle. Prop the knee up. You'll have your bump there, and that'll expose the knee. So it's skin down the side. Then they start with the femur. So they'll, they'll have the femur. They'll attach a cutting block to the femur that has different slits in it. Um, that they'll use, where's that saw blade? Is there a saw blade right there? Yeah. See it on the nail stand there? Peel packed? Right, right below your hand there? Nope, nope. Right there, yeah. Is that, is it empty? Oh, hold on one second. The oscillator? Yeah. Oh, that? Yeah, that was it. That's okay, well, I got one here. Okay, so they'll have a, uh, it looks like a drill, but it's the uh, oscillating saw. So that'll go in the slits to cut perfect angles, angle, angle, angle. So they cut those pieces of bone off and you always want to keep that bone because they seem to send that for specimens all the time. So they'll, they'll save that bone. And then once that's cut, they drill a hole down the middle and then insert the, the trial size for the femur. So. This is the wrong side, obviously, because that's supposed to be over there, but you see how it works. So that goes on there. So they have the femur done. Then they'll move to the tibia. And same thing, cutting block over it. And that's just one cut straight across to make that flat. And another hole down the, down the tibia. And that allows them to place the implant into there. And usually, the implant's gonna fit exactly on that, uh, to the size of the tibia. So like this one's a little small, as you see, it doesn't go all the way out to the edges, yeah. but they'll have different sizes that'll make it so it fits exactly on there. So we'll determine the size spacer they need, and that'll correspond with the size of the uh, implant that goes on top. So that'll be good. And then they flip the patella over, shave that off kind of the same way, uh, where it'll be a straight cut that makes the back of it flat. And they'll, once again, determine the right size implant they need for the patella. And then they cement everything in. And that's it. Once they cement it in, you're good to go.